a longitudinal study is a research method that involves observing the same individuals or groups over an extended period of time. This type of study is used to examine changes, patterns, and long-term effects in areas such as psychology, medicine, and social sciences. Unlike cross-sectional studies, which provide a snapshot of data at a single point in time, longitudinal studies track subjects over months, years, or even decades. By collecting repeated measurements, researchers can analyse how factors like ageing, lifestyle, or environment influence outcomes over time. Now let's explore some key characteristics of longitudinal studies. Longitudinal studies have several defining characteristics that set them apart from other research methods. One key feature is repeated data collection, where the same variables are measured at multiple points throughout the study. Another characteristic is that they follow the same participants over time, allowing researchers to examine individual changes rather than just comparing different groups. These studies can be observational, where researchers simply collect data without interference, or experimental, where they introduce variables and track their effects. Because longitudinal studies require long-term commitment, they often involve detailed planning and consistent follow-ups with participants. Now let's look at an example of a longitudinal study in action. A well-known example of a longitudinal study is research on child development, where scientists track a group of children from infancy to adulthood to study how early life experiences impact later outcomes. In health research, a longitudinal study might follow patients over many years to observe how diet and lifestyle choices affect heart disease risk. Another example is educational studies, where researchers monitor students' academic progress over time to identify factors that contribute to success or failure. These examples show how longitudinal studies provide valuable insights into long-term patterns and relationships. Now let's examine some benefits of using this research method. One major benefit of longitudinal studies is that they allow researchers to track changes over time, making it easier to identify cause and effect relationships. By following the same individuals, these studies reduce the influence of differences between participants, leading to more accurate conclusions. Another advantage is that longitudinal research helps detect long-term trends, such as how childhood experiences influence adult behaviour or how diseases develop over time. Additionally, these studies provide detailed and rich data, making them valuable for understanding complex processes that cannot be captured in short-term research. Now let's explore some limitations of longitudinal studies. Despite their advantages, longitudinal studies have several limitations. One major challenge is that they require a significant amount of time and resources, often lasting for many years or even decades. Another issue is participant dropout, as some individuals may move away, lose interest, or be unable to continue, which can affect the study's accuracy. Additionally, because researchers must repeatedly measure the same variables, there is a risk that participants may change their behaviour simply because they know they are being studied. While longitudinal studies provide valuable insights, these challenges can make them difficult to conduct successfully. Now let's look at an alternative research method. An alternative to longitudinal studies is cross-sectional research, which examines different groups of people at a single point in time rather than following the same individuals over a long period. Cross-sectional studies are faster and less expensive, making them more practical for collecting data on large populations. Another alternative is retrospective studies, where researchers analyse past records and data instead of tracking participants over time. While these methods provide quicker results, they do not offer the same depth of insight into long-term changes as longitudinal studies. Choosing between these methods depends on the research question and available resources.